Hi, this is Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at a utility called Screen Copy, or SCRCPY. The purpose of this application is to allow you to control the screen of your Android phone from Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. Let's get started. All right, so we are on the GitHub site for screen copy right now, and it shows you, it looks like a Debian desktop background. We're looking at an Android screen displayed on it. So the requirements, the Android part requires at least API 21, which is Android 5.0. You have to enable ADB debugging on your device which isn't difficult and they have a link here to walk you through the process and then on some devices you need to enable an additional option to control it using keyboard and mouse on Linux you'll need to grab the app source code and build it or install it via snap if you're running Ubuntu or you've got the snap D daemon installed on your distribution of preference. There's a simple archive with an executable in it for Windows and on Mac OS you can install it via Homebrew which makes it simple. So once you have the necessary steps completed to enable developer mode you plug it into your computer and run screen copy and then it will fit you back some information. You can do different things like changing the size and the bit rate and do some cropping, different things like that. You can also, if you want to get fancy, you can connect over Wi-Fi. You can record the screen directly to an MP4 file and you can even have multiple devices hooked up, which can be helpful at times. So let's switch over to the terminal and fire this thing off. So the command I'm going to use for mine is screen copy double dash full screen and we will enter that and you are now seeing the lock screen on my Android phone. So the things I want to take a look at on the phone tonight are in my IT stuff group and I will do more in-depth videos on these items later but I at least wanted to throw them out to you today so I do make use of splash top for remote desktop I've got a net tool for some network testing which we can look at in another video open signal the IT pro TV app IT pro TV which somehow ended up in here twice PT Design is for my brother, Label Maker. Wi-Fi Man is a Ubiquity app to search and manage Wi-Fi. Uh, Service BR is for brother printers, network printers. And we've got Wiggle Wi-Fi, which will allow you to do basically word driving with your phone. And it collects the SSIDs of different networks that are detected and their GPS coordinates. Fing scans your network. Spiceworks gives you access to a number of resources through the Spiceworks platform. Invoice Ninja I use for invoicing my clients. And we've got another scanning application and then another subnet tool over here on the screen and an IP calculator there. Uh, just some software I was testing out for potential future videos. Just wanted to keep this video kind of short since I'm just getting the studio set up from my vacation, which was way overdue and I really needed that. And so in future videos, I'm going to incorporate some cell phone type. Uh, coverage of things in here just to mix things up a little bit and to you know bring you some 
useful tools that may not run on the desktop but may have a use nonetheless. With all that in mind, I am going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you once again for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Click the bell icon for notifications and feel free to leave comments down below. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.